What's up YouTube? So today is a pretty good day because Arturia just announced something pretty incredible about the Micro Freak. So I recently did a stream about the Micro Freak and I've actually filmed and I've been editing videos about some more kind of sound design stuff with the Micro Freak. And it's almost like I can't even get content out quick enough and they just keep adding new features to the thing. This is actually crazy. I mean, in previous video, uh, I'm, I'm, it may not even be out yet by the time you guys see this. In a previous video, I kind of compared it to the Virus TI. And at that point, it was still a little bit of a kind of even tip of the scales. It was like a mm, kind of, kind of. Now they've added the ability to add your own user wavetables. That is absolutely ridiculous. So in my opinion, this makes it much better than the virus TI. There's not even a shadow of a doubt in my mind now. I mean, comparing synths is a silly thing. Whatever fits your workflow fits your workflow. But I just think, uh, yeah, for the price, Microfreak is absolutely, uh, it's a no brainer, you know, for if you're looking for a compact synthesizer and you're looking for something versatile, uh, it can do it all now. Um, I would say just make yourself some really crazy wavetables in Vital, resynthesize preset to wavetable, load it up into Microfreak, and the sound design capabilities are endless. So I want to show you guys how it works and how simple it is to load up uh, wavetables into your Microfreak. And I want to show you a couple of really cool examples. Let's dive in and have a look. <laughs> So to get this working, you're gonna to have to update your Microfreak to version 4.0.1 of the firmware. Uh, that will be available on the Arturia website or well, how it works is you download your Arturia MIDI control center, which I'm sure you've got if you've got the Microfreak. And yeah, you just open it up and it'll automatically update your firmware. And one thing you'll notice if you've checked this uh, MCC out before is you've got this preset section where you can uh, load and copy and uh, create banks of presets which you can uh, transfer between your computer and your microfreak, etc. So here they've added a section called wavetables. So what this allows you to do is add banks of wavetables. So one of the limitations is that you can only have 16 user wavetables loaded on at a time. I think that's still pretty incredible considering they're adding onto existing hardware. Something to consider though is that a lot of synths that are developed around wavetables don't even offer you the ability to import your own user wavetables. So props to Arturia for even doing this in the first place. Um, let's create a new bank. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this data side tables. So here the wet FM, this is actually a folder. I'm not sure if you guys know this a data side tables V3. I did uh, do a stream featuring a lot of the sounds and stuff in the uh, wavetable stuff. Anyway, the this is a bank of 470 something wavetables and it ranges everything from great bass sounds to really nice FM sounds, or all sorts of glitchy tones. Um, so, I mean, there's all sorts of crazy stuff here. There's this one called a little bit of everything, which is like really nice glitchy tones. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through uh, a flange shift was also really, really nice. I'm just going to load up some random stuff here and we can see what it sounds like uh, on the Microfreak. What are wavetables? A wavetable is basically just a wave file and your synth basically captures just a single cycle of that wave file. So that's from the zero crossing to the next zero crossing. And it loops that over and over again. And you can kind of morph where in the wavetable you're uh, kind of choosing it from. So you could technically load in vocal samples. You could load in all sorts of weird things to use as wavetables. You're not limited to just a pack of wavetables, you know? Although that being said is it's nice having a nice curated pack which you could choose from. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead, load, uh, just drag and drop a bunch of these sounds in and then we're gonna listen to what they sound like. Just check how easy this is. I mean, this drag and drop and transfer thing, it's even easier than some plugins that I know that are based around wavetables, but anyway. Okay, so I've compiled a collection over here. So I've just randomly selected them um, from the side tables v3 and i'm going to click send to microfreak wavetables are loaded onto the microfreak and we can jump into some sound design over there let's dive in there okay so what we want to do is we want to set the type into wavetable mode and then this selector the wave becomes a selector of which wavetable was being uh, played at that time here's a here's another interesting thing that they've added in firmware volume that they've added in firmware version 4 i'm not sure if they saw my video on it but i did 
comment on this and subsequently they've added it which is pretty awesome they've changed the speed at which you can move these encoders um you change that in the settings i'm not going to do that you guys can figure that out this is about the wavetables which i think is the most important thing about this update but it's just cool that i'm pretty sure that they're listening to the creators who are using the stuff and imply and create and putting those changes into the firmware which is an amazing thing we can modulate through the wavetable position here's something really really cool though is that i think the reason that it's okay for these things to be limited is we can modulate through the different wavetables. So not only can we modulate through the wavetable position, we can change what wavetable is loaded. So we've kind of got a 3D wave scanning thing going on here, which is pretty insane. Let's go over to the, uh, add a sample and hold random, and then let's assign this to, well, let's first start with the timbre. Um, we can get to the waves later to create some even more interesting stuff. But let's just start with getting uh, sending the LFO signal to the timbre. And we can just see what this sounds like. Okay, so let's modulate the wave as well as the timbre. That can create some really interesting stuff. And just for reference, the third parameter, the shape, that creates like a chorus slash unison type of effect. Although for this type of thing, I kind of like it to be more mono kind of cutting sound. <laughs> That is incredible sonic potential. And I think the fact that it's just so easy, you can load them up, you can modulate between the different wavetables. I think this is absolutely incredible. Without a doubt, makes Microfreak even more of my favorite fixed architecture synthesizer. Um, like I said, I did mention this in a video, which I'm not sure will be out yet because they announced this. I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Yeah, I thought it would be awesome to show you guys like the context of how I would use such an awesome new feature that they've added into the Microfreak. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.